This video is for whoever keeps sending and showing my TikToks to my ex. Send him this one. Send him this one. Curtis, ain't you 22 living with your 16-year-old baby mom in her grandma house? Huh? Stealing your mama food stamp card? Huh? No car, no apartment, no nothing. You don't got sh But let's not talk about that. Let's talk about how you got her pregnant when she was 13 years old. But before oh, that, she going... you got your sister pregnant when she was 12. Oh! We, you're not going to talk about that, huh? Huh? But I'm going to talk about it. A lot of doubt. A lot of doubt. I'm sitting here looking in the mirror. Saying damn to myself. I don't know the rest of the words, but listen, bro. When a woman's fed up, it ain't nothing you can do about it. The worst thing you can do is, like, be vulnerable to somebody who can use it against you when they're mad at you. And in a lot of cases, your girl or your ex-girl will expose you. And in this situation, I'm not too mad at her exposing this creep because... He's a creep. Now, I just realized I sang R. Kelly. I wasn't even planning that. It just it just happened. Wow. This was a good. I always be trying to be nonchalant. Yeah, I had a good time. You know what I'm saying? So shit, what you can do? What you can do? What you mean? What I'm finna go do? Be with you? Be, what we finna go do? You just put the light. I feel like what, what, what y'all say? You put your whole song in that. Yeah, I'm finna go do that. You just put the light. I feel like what, what, what y'all say? You put your whole song in that. Yeah, that with that. And, and my leg, I ain't even know my leg could be where it was. I didn't know I could feel them things until you did it. So, apparently, we go together. Like, we meant to be together. Stop playing with me. Like, right. hey, babe. Yo, she said, hey, babe. What the fuck? Hey. You got to be careful who you who you touching the bottom on, man. Because sometimes you touch the bottom the wrong young lady. And you bring that goddamn Freddy Krueger out her ass. Better be careful, brothers. I personally don't feel as though you should be you should be showing your full powers to every woman. <laughs> because there's chicks out here that are just as crazy as us niggas when we get some good Because good pussy will have you doing some wild sh**. I realized no matter how comfortable I was with oh. him or... Um, you know, nah. I was just not comfortable with him. I thought he loved me. Um... He just kept on getting more and more abusive. Nah. The attack sent Jenna to the hospital and into hiding. Shortly after 11 o'clock this morning, deputies with the Lucas County Sheriff's Office arrested Montrese Hughes, who's 29. He's now facing a charge of domestic violence. While she's waiting for the court proceedings, Jenna has a message for others who may be in a similar situation. It's not, it's not worth going back, no matter how, how much you think the person loves you or how comfortable you are there. You need to expect if they put your hands, their hands on you, the first time, then it's gonna keep happening. It's only gonna get worse. Just hey, bro. Hey, bro. You that be beating on women, y'all. Do y'all see her face? Do y'all? Of course y'all see her face. I see her face, bro. You n that be beating on women, y'all dead ass, bro. Just leave the situation alone. I don't condone this neither, but if you feel that compelled to beat up on somebody, go beat up on bro. I I'm just being honest with you, you know? I mean, at the end of the day, you shouldn't be trying to get violent over no vagina. Because when you go to jail, the same dude you try to get violent with will be cracking. But... Bro, you hitting on women, bro. You hitting on women, dog. No grown ass man should be that angry to where he has his girl looking like that, dog. You have a problem. You have a problem. Damn, that shit got me hot. Bitch ass niggas, man. The dress from the TikTok shop came, so I'm gonna try it on real quick. <sighs> looking like a healthy bottle of Pepto Bismol. Yeah. You won't. No! Hell no! No! She 
did not give us a round of applause. Oh my God. Oh my God. I, boy, boy, I know y'all think I'm overreacting, but Jesus Christ. The, the video started, I heard clapping. Jesus Christ. Whoo. Whoo. <laughs> Woo! Oh my God. I said it two videos ago. I am happy that women that are built like this are finally getting their just due. Finally getting their just due, man. Skinny bitches ran the 90s and the early 2000s, believe it or not. And, you know, ain't, ain't nothing wrong with a little... With a little fupa. Ain't nothing wrong with a little fupa, girl. I love that fupa. It's like a hand warmer. <sighs> but where my wife at, boy? She got her head on. Evil thoughts. And then I saw a sexual act that I won. I walked in on. Who'd you walk in on? Him and Dwayne Martin. Okay. Hollywood is the hurry up and, and, and wait game. So three minutes later after them telling me, hey, you got eyes on Will. You got, we, we, we need him to come watch this. So I'm running all over the, the, the studio. He's not in his dressing room. I go to the cafeteria. I'm like, well, but I see his car there. I'm like, where is this guy at? So now I'm holding Dwayne down too. So I have the keys to his dressing room. So I'm like, yo, and they're calling my, my they, I'm on walkie-talkie, and they're calling my cell phone. Yo, we need to get Will here. I'm like, yo, kind of fucked down. Like, I'm trying to find his, like, this is, this is, I like him, right? So, all right, I open the um, door to Dwayne's dressing room, and that's when I see Dwayne and having sex with Will. Let me process that for a second. There was a couch, and um, Will was bent over on the couch, and Dwayne was standing up, killing him. Murder. Like, murder. There was murder in there. And Yo, when are we going to stop with the Will Smith slander? When are we going to stop with the Will Smith slander? This man cannot catch a break, bro. He cannot catch a break. Anytime you have a situation where somebody is getting... It's like the, the bully effect, right? So you know when you was in school, if you allow yourself to get bullied in school, one person bully you, it now becomes the popular thing for everybody to start bullying you. Now, now you're the butt of everybody's joke. And... Now everybody have something to expose. Uh, now everybody have something to expose Will Smith about. So Will Smith was was getting was bent over getting killed by Dwayne. I find that so hard to believe, dog. I'm, I'm gonna be real with you. I find it very hard to believe. Now I know Hollywood is a strange place. Okay, I'd have heard some stories in real life, but I find this particular story very hard to believe. Tasha Kane learned her lesson. <laughs> she keep playing. She keep playing with fire. What the fucking boy? I want my money for the money. This is not the right house. This is not the right house. Oh shit, where is he? Imagine you you're for? chilling and someone broke into for? your house mistakenly. Who are you looking for? Where is he? Let's go. The cops are here. Let's go. Where is he? Who? Who? Where is his brother? Your brother. I don't have a brother. I don't have a brother. You can't get the wrong. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, sir, you break into my house mistakenly. Fat, 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 fat. Fat. That's all I'm going to say. You're going to leave like some Swiss cheese. House. Who are you looking for? What's his name, Haley? What's his name? I'm so sorry. Hold on, hold on, hold on. My, he hit my door with the car after the car. He hit my door with the car. We have been here the entire time. We have not left the house. 
Okay. I'm sorry. Broke this man door down, dog. I'm not coming outside. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Stay away, please. Who are you looking for? This is not. This is the wrong house. I'm sure. Okay. 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 What's your name? What's his name? What's his name? Wayley, we, we do not know anybody with that name. Oh my god! Oh my god! You're at the wrong house. They said that he, he gave this address. This is the wrong I address. I am so here. sorry. We do not know anyone with that address. He's so scared. He ran my money. daughter over with the car. Here, take money. I don't. Uh, I don't want money. We just want to leave. Take it. I'm sorry. Take it. I'm he sorry. He gave your address. He gave me your address. Why well, don't I'm even sorry. live here? I am so no, sorry. Why would you not have the right? police come in? I don't think so. The police. Police. We have Yo, bro, yeah, you break into my house like that, I'm shooting you and your wife. That's enough for him to shoot both of their asses, bro. You think you John Wick? You just breaking into people's houses? Man, come on, dog. I get it. Somebody hit your child with a car, you upset, but, um, yeah. <laughs> you would have made the news that day, buddy. Oh, wow, I would never have guessed that. That may affect work. Does this explain some doctor's appointments? Yeah. All right, I won't say anything to anyone except for HR. I will talk to you when you're back. Go enjoy PTO, please, and try to get some mental rest, emotional rest. All right, I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you next week. All right, thanks, Taylor. See ya. Bye. We're here to talk about something completely unrelated to what you brought up to me last week while you're on PTO. Um, that said, the team has undergone a restructuring and unfortunately your role has been eliminated and that is effective today. Um, I want you to know that this was an extremely difficult decision to make and we took a lot of care in making it, a lot of care in making it. Um, all, again, all that said, I'm gonna drop off and let Cass discuss your offboarding with you. I also know this is a lot of this man, bro. After coming back from vacation, so if you need a pause, if you want questions, yeah, uh, I guess just what, what's happening. I got fired. Uh, yes, the the role is is terminated. But why? Um, the role was no longer needed. And how is that determined? Girlfriend's pregnant. Bro, this is why I could never work in corporate America. This is why I can never work in corporate America. Because of political bullshit like that. First off, when he initially told, I guess, his boss, his supervisor, whoever that lady is, that his girlfriend was pregnant, her reaction just was off. This can definitely affect some things at work. One of my best friends works corporate. He works um, for Cerna. When he got hired, his position was to work from home. Okay? That was his position. He came in there and his workload was crazy. He was handling um, one hospital. Then somebody quit, so they gave him the workload that this person was doing. On top of that, he had to get training. And then on top of that, he had to do tickets. So tickets that came in might be like, um, hey, this doctor is, this doctor can't prescribe medicine. Can you do this for it? Can you, uh, you know, make it so he can prescribe medicine? Hey, this doctor needs access to such and such and such. Can you make it so he has access to that? So he's doing that on top of handling projects like building out hospitals for two hospitals. He was basically building out two hospitals. I know I know a good bit about the shit because he was training me to actually do that job. His supervisor did not like him. His supervisor did not like him, bro. His supervisor found ways to make his job very difficult. Like I said before, he was basically doing a three person job by himself. On top of doing like the everyday thing like tickets. Supervisor knew that and would still complain. Hey, why is it that you only did three tickets today? Why is it that, you know, bullshit, bro? Anyway, so now they hired this new lady and this new lady's position was to come in. Like her position was to come in. What they tried to do was they tried to make it where my boy, he basically on switch roles. Even though he got hired to be um, 
remote, they was going to try to make it where the lady was going to be remote, even though she got hired to be in the office, and he was going to have to be in the office. He was like, nah, I can't do that. I can't. I definitely can't do that. So he ended up getting another job. And the crazy thing is, bro, he got this other job, and he's doing so well, bro. He's doing so well at his other job. Man, I'm really proud of this man. And he's making double what, damn near double what he was making at the other shit. So we ain't finna get in this man's bank account, but just understand that he's making guap. You feel me? He's making guap. And he worked from home. I'm gonna try to put him in a video. He be trying to be low key and shit like that, but I'm trying to get him in one of the videos. But I say all that to say, bro, corporate America, I cannot deal with corporate America. It's a whole crab in a barrel mentality. I love doing YouTube, bro. I love doing YouTube. This is this is my my low key YouTube is my part time job, but I could make it my full time job. But I told you I don't want to be, I don't want to be too big on YouTube. It comes being too big on YouTube comes with, it comes with some things, man. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of the video. Another thing, man, if you watch my videos consistently, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I know it's a lot of you guys here who watch the videos who aren't subscribed, but you still support, and go ahead and subscribe, dog. Join the community. Come here, boy. Come here. Come here. Come here, big guy. Come here. Tell them. Tell them to join the community. Go ahead. Join the community. They can't see you. Go ahead. Say it. Join the community. And Thanksgiving in school. We don't we don't celebrate Thanksgiving over here. Um, tell say join the community. Join to the community. Hi, right, big guy. I love you. Mm -hmm. Go back upstairs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll holler.